friendlies, it's Carolyn and welcome back to my RV life. Uh, just a quick intro to today's video and a couple of updates. Uh, since I saw you last, which was the Anza Borrego video, I have spent four days alone in Slab City. I can't wait to share my videos with you about that. Uh, I got a lot of great stuff, had an, uh, a really interesting time and um, I think my videos are going to be unlike anything that you've seen before, so I'm very excited about I have a ton of footage. It's going to take me a while to get through. I'm hoping to have something up. I think I'm going to do like a three or four part series, so I'm hoping to have the first one up for you by early next week. So stay tuned. I think you're really going to like it. Uh, I got my dental work done in Mexico. How does it look? Yeah, <laughs> which turned out um, much better than I thought it would. So I'm excited about sharing that video with you. Oh, I just have a lot of uh, great stuff coming up. You know, I couldn't wait to get to Slab City. And uh, wow, what an experience. Um, and I'm really looking forward to sharing that. But today I have video of leaving Anza Borrego. Beautiful, gorgeous drive out. Uh, what I call, and I think what they might call, a miniature Badlands. Some really pretty footage. And then the afternoon or morning, actually, that I spent discovering Salton City. So you saw my Salton Sea video with uh, my information about what the whole area is about. And um, now this is the second part of that and actually visiting the resort town that was never that never was or it was for a little while. And also a quick note, you know, I, I, I don't have the money to hire fact checkers. <laughs> I wish I did. Maybe someday when I'm as big as some of my YouTube um, um, favorites that have, you know, 5 million subscribers, maybe then I'll be able to hire fact checkers. Uh, but right now it's just little old me. Uh, I, you know, I don't, I don't, uh, I know I'm not an expert on everything and I know sometimes I give incorrect information. So those of you who fact check me, I do appreciate it. Uh, I do the best I can. My brain, uh, you know, I'm 49 years old and I, I joke about having one brain cell <laughs> left with my history. And I think that one brain cell might be uh, overworked and fading because as you've seen in my videos, actually I edit some of it out. I don't know if any of you others are going through this, but all of a sudden, like I can't find the words to complete sentences. I can't spell anymore. And I just don't remember things. I, you know, I don't feel 49, almost 50, but, uh, my brain definitely isn't as quick as it used to be. <laughs> you know, maybe all that partying is finally catching up to me. I don't know. Um, or if it's just what happens when you're almost 50. So thank you for those of you who fact check me and for everybody else, just let you know that I hope that you don't, uh, you know, take everything that I say in my videos as, as perfect <laughs> because I do the best that I can. Of course, I don't want to give you wrong information, but sometimes I misremember what I read. Uh, I don't have a fact checker. I do the best I can. And I hope that you can understand that. And, uh, you know, if you are going to visit a place and you are interested in the history, hopefully you'll do your own research. Uh, you know, I do the best I can with what I have. I'm just a little RVer <laughs> doing YouTube videos. I don't, I'm not trying to be an expert and I'm, and I'm not perfect. So, um, all right. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I had a great time exploring Salton City, a little bit of a ghost town. I had fun exploring it. I hope you have fun watching it. Feeling a little Thelma Louise. <laughs> no, not like that, but check this out. It's like the mini Grand Canyon around here. I am just outside of Salton City and, uh, Thought I would stop and take a look at this. Oh. When I came in, there were a lot of um, OHVs here. I mean, tons of them, so I didn't stop. I can see why. <gasps> yeah, this would be so fun to explore. So I saw a sign coming in, something about Badlands, and it's exactly what it reminded me of. If you've ever been to Badlands, I think in South Dakota, um, I mean, Badlands is way bigger, prettier, more colorful, but that's kind of what this reminds me of. Holy cow, this is really cool. 
I'm shooting into the sun. I don't know how much you're going to be able to see. And off. Oh, look at there's paragliders. I don't know if you can see off to the distance. That's the Salton Sea. And I came, my camp in, um, <laughs> Anza Borrego. I always forget it. I was doing well when I was there, but my camp in Anza Borrego was way back there. I'm getting um, closer to the sea and Salton City, which is my next stop. I'm gonna go check out the other side. where there was a hotel, RV park, and restaurant. It's only like 9.30 in the morning, nothing is open. But um, it's not very exciting. <laughs> There's not really a lot going on here. Um, as I kind of read, uh, I had seen a, a uh, if you're from California, you'll know um, Huell Hauser had a, oh, I can't remember what it was called, Exploring California, but he came here and showed a really quirky little town, interviewed some of the locals. I think it was here. And I, I'm looking kind of for, for that, and I'm not seeing it yet. Wow, but I am seeing one thing I did want to show you. So this was a planned community back in the 50s. Um, it was a booming community of recreation with the sea and resorts and, and things like that and from what I read they were actually selling um, real estate they were selling um, lots they were selling lots from the air they were doing helicopter flyovers and selling lots from the air um, and you know investors movie stars politicians all kinds of people were buying property here sight unseen basically from helicopters just because it was such an up-and-coming place um, movie stars uh, movie stars were coming, politicians, and buying property, and it was just the, the place to go. Um, I think it was, they said it was the second most popular place, resort place in California. And I'm, I, it, the article that I read didn't say what, what was first, but I'm assuming it was Lake Tahoe. Um, but one of the things that I did want to point out, and I'm hoping to find some more interesting stuff to show you, um, in the recent years, the real estate here is so inexpensive compared to the rest of California. You, you can get a lot for, I think, um, $27,000, I think I saw. Uh, just a, a raw piece of land that you can build a house on. That is dirt cheap in California. Ah, oh, Pony, come here. Come here. He tries to go home with every truck he sees. <laughs> So that's dirt cheap in California, $27,000 for a lot that you can build a house on. Um, but yeah, so I'm hoping to find some interesting stuff. I'm seeing some new housing here because of the really inexpensive prices and people just getting priced out of other places. It's kind of humid. It smells a little bit. It smells like mud. You know, like that stale, old, musty, muddy swampy smell that's what it smells like. right all right but I want to show you this um, this I read this it was a planned it was a planned community and they already started making plant it was planned they started making the streets so if you can see all the way out there there are all these street signs and empty lots that were never built. So the people who invested in these lost their asses. <laughs> Let me see. Way out there, but this is all over the place. There's one there. Where did I see another? See, there are street signs. Um, so the community was developed. And then from what I read, the water started rising. It started becoming poison and um, it, it just crashed. It started becoming not such a fun place to go. It was smelly. It was lined with dead fish. 
Nobody wants to go vacation on a, on a beach with dead fish. So the, um, the planned community, the big booming recreation area uh, didn't last very long. People who invested and never built um, probably lost all of their investment and as real estate plummeted. And so now what we see are just the remnants of a bunch of uh, streets that were never built on and a bunch of lots that just never got homes. All right, so I'm gonna keep driving and see if we can find anything fun. So you can see actually, I don't know if you see out there, but there's actually some old foundations. But look at all the streets. And I love on the other side, you know, they have like seaside resort names. Seagull, Sea View, Sea Pearl, Sea Vista, you know. I mean, so you can imagine what they had planned for this to be, you know, another Tahoe, which is multi-million dollar real estate. And, um, but it's not. Instead, it's a virtual ghost town. Treasure, <laughs> not such a treasure now. Look okay. at. It smells a little bad. Hi, puppies. So I don't know if you can see this, but the sun is in the wrong direction. But there used to be something here. Yeah, I mean, it's not as horrible, the smell, as I thought it would be. I heard <laughs> the Vice article that I um, quoted in another video uh, from the Salton Sea Recreation Area said it smelled like a mixture of um, dead fish and diarrhea. I don't know. I've smelled worse. But this was going to be a booming resort, the next Lake Tahoe. Whew. Hmm, that's some pretty nice artwork right there. Wow. Look at that. That's pretty impressive. That is very cool. Whoever you are, <laughs> graffiti artist. Oh my. Wow. I wonder what this used to be. I love exploring old shit. <laughs> Do you know how to spell diarrhea? Yes, it. This was a bathroom. Hmm. 
shower. Bones is as much of an explorer as I am. Oh, bud. The phone is so excited to explore. Oh, I wonder if this was a campground. Hmm. RV park. Yeah, I think this was an RV park. Campground. More fish bones. <laughs> wow, this is crazy. This is not sand, this is fish. This is the remains of fish. Look. Look at fish bones. Ah, fish bones, look. Fish bones, it's all just fish bones. Wow. I think this pretty much ends my tour of Salton City. There really isn't much here, which I, I kind of read. It seems like all the old stuff was torn down and it's not the ghost town it used to be because of a little bit of a tiny, tiny bit of a real estate boom. But it's about 10 o'clock and already it's feeling uh, like 80 degrees maybe, maybe high 70s and it's February 14th. <laughs> so uh, yeah, in the summer, I think regularly, I'll look it up and post it, but I'm gonna say 110 degrees pretty much all summer long. Um, so yeah, one of the reasons it would not be in uh, a, a great place for most people to live. But that's my tour of Salt and City. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for hanging with me. Until next time, remember, be happy, be free, and be kind. Look at that pretty blue roof. Can you see it? That is very pretty.